Hi guys, and welcome back to another video on how to paint a fat helmet. Um, last video you saw us uh, fix up some of the troubled areas we had. Um, and in this video we're getting to the end leg now. Like I can probably see one more video after this and then uh, that's probably it then for painting one of these helmets. Um, in this video we're going to look at uh, applying our weathering and our topical damage. Uh, the weathering will be misted on with the airbrush. Uh, that's why I said earlier on to keep that little pot of black paint because we're going to be using that. Um, and also we're going to topically paint on um, our damage inside uh, the silver area. Topically this means we're going to apply it with a brush rather than airbrush. We're just going to be, uh, just going to be painting it on very simply. We'll get our reference photos out for us and we'll just paint it on. And hopefully uh, this is what the helmet uh, will look like. This is the other helmet I've been working on. And this has all been topically painted and weathered. You can see, you can see all the detail now inside the silver area. I've also gone ahead, we've misted the back panels. You can quite see it, there's a nice uh, variety of uh, tones down the back panels. We've gone ahead, we've applied all our silver scratches on the back, if you can see them. Okay. And all the silver damage. We also have some uh, carbon scoring, I believe it is, uh, on the dent that trails up. Uh, we got a little bit of shading on the lower cheek here, and a little bit more on uh, on this cheek here. Um, so that's what we're going to cover in this video. Um, not too difficult to do. Uh, like, like I've always done, I'll go through it step by step, show you how to do that. And uh, we'll almost have a finished helmet. But so yeah, guys, video. Uh, we're going to go ahead now and weather the helmet, uh, like you saw earlier in the in, in the clip. Um, the differences between the weathering and a non-weathered helmet is incredible. Um, I'm not sure if you can pick it up too much on the camera, but in real life you really can see the difference. Um, so before we go ahead and we paint on all the little detail, uh, all the little scratches and stuff um, on top of the dome and everything, we're going to go ahead and apply our black um, weathering. Uh, in retrospect, we should have done this way, way back, um, before we even painted the red in these cheeks, when we'd masked up the dome and the lower cheeks. That way, we would have got a better, uh, better spray, but you can still do it with this. Um, I totally forgot that we are using these cheap away brushes. If you're using a double action, uh, set it to a nice low pressure, uh, get a nice thin mix of your paint, and you'll get a nice, uh, a nice shading done. So we're going to use these brushes, uh, as we've done with the entire paint job. Um, I've untwisted the, uh, the cap to give us the lowest amount of spray because we're going to want to gently apply the black. Now with weathering, less is more. You see a lot of things which are so over weathered, it, looks, it, just, it just doesn't look real. Um, so we're going to go ahead and apply uh, weathering in very, very uh, small amounts. Um, I've also gone ahead and I've masked up the dome. I've left this bit here unmasked. If you look at reference images, uh, this is quite uh, dark by here, well, the dome is not so much dark, we're going to do that individually later. Um, the weathering on this uh, streaks back, so that's why I masked this bit up. I apologise if I'm uh, a bit harder here, I'm uh, a bit under the weather at the moment. So we're going to go ahead, just realise there's a bit of masking tape by here. It's uh, me not paying attention. Okay, that's that stuff, we're going to go ahead now and uh, mist our... Wet, mist our uh, black on. Same process as with the kill stripes. We're just going to gently ease it on. Make sure you get, you know, uh, the pressure of your airbrush, what's coming out. You don't want to just hit it on. You have a big black circle on your helmet. Ease it on. Um, this cheek is not so much more weathering. There's a little bit more weathering to this side, but it eases off. So we're just going to start gradually. Don't forget, less is more. I don't know if you can even see this. on camera. Uh, that's pretty much it. I don't know if you can actually pick that up. I'll give it another pass. As it's actually quite light. Okay, so just gently spraying on the black. Now, we're not doing any of this uh, nice motion stuff as we're not trying to coat the piece. We're just trying to get a nice little bit of shade in. And that's pretty much it. You can 
not picking up too well on the camera. I'll try it with the other cheat now. Uh, this cheat's got a little bit more weathering. Um, it also has a little bit more weathering by here as well. So we'll go ahead now. Make sure the helmet's in a nice light. Yeah, we go. You might be able to see this one. Okay, so we'll go ahead now and uh, I'll paint this little section by here for you. So make sure you get a nice flow going like that. Okay, we just kind of gently hit it. And that's probably it, actually. Looking at that, it doesn't, doesn't need too much. We'll go ahead now and we'll do the bottom streak. And that's pretty much it. You can see the shading now starting to come out on the helmet. And last but not least, oh, sorry. We also have another little bit of shading by here as well. Totally forgot this bit. We're going to apply that. Same, same process. Just. I'm going to show you each bit as it's you are painted on top of a near finished helmet, so it's kind of daunting. And this bit of weathering is just underneath this little bit of damage, just past the ear cap. So we're just going to gently spray that on. And if you've gone a bit too heavy, uh, you can always buff it back off with wire wool. You can see the little bit of damage there. And now we're going to do the, go ahead and do the dent. With the dent, it streaks off back. Uh, okay. I don't forget, you've masked this up, so we can use this bit as our, our reference, if you can say. So we're going to start our spray here. And we're going to bring it off. Don't forget, with this, less is more. I'm just going to bring the spray up. Like so. And then you can see our dent is shaded in. A little bit of weather and then around the bottom of the dent. Don't want too much, not overkill. And that's pretty much it for the weathering. Uh, you have to go ahead now, uh, remove this masking tape, and we'll have to spray a little bit of black into that. We do that after. We first have to draw in our details in the dent, our little damage sections, then we'll put one little burst in. Because once you remove this, this silver will be will will be pure silver. So I'll go ahead now, and uh, we can cut to uh, topically painting on our damage. So the helmet's been left now for about 24 hours, um, just to make sure that it's fully dry. Even though we didn't spray a lot on, uh, we're going to be uh, going in with our wire wool, uh, just to neaten it up and help blend it in more with the helmet. Uh, so I want to give the paint sufficient enough time to dry. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now and remove uh, the masking fluid. Uh, this should now reveal our unscorched, damaged area. So I'll go ahead and remove this now. And as you can see, I uh, didn't spray. I cut off the uh, masking fluid on this line here. Uh, once we go in with our wire wool, we'll clear this up just so there's a bit of dark darkness around this edge. And we'll have to give a, a little shot of black in there once we put our topical damage in. And later on, make sure I take this ear off. Okay, so we'll go ahead, remove it. Um, it's also important as well when you were masking this piece up, um, make sure you don't uh, go over the damaged area because otherwise you'll have a really light green uh, areas underneath, and it, it just doesn't look right. So I've gone ahead now. Last bit of masking fluid to come off. Like so. And now all we're simply going to do, we're going to get our wire wall, uh, quadruple zero wire wall. Pick a bit off, don't need too much. It'll come off. Okay, and we're just going to start to work, work the damaged area, because this will start to take some of it off, and that's what we want. We want to uh, remove some of it, just so we can get some control to it and get it in the position that we want. So go ahead. Take some off the silver. I'm just going to neaten it up. Don't forget, if you look at some reference images, it arcs towards the back. So we're just going to start to uh, work it in with the shape that we want. This really will help to blend in uh, the carbon detail, the rest of the helmet. Of course, we still have to apply topical damage. So we've still got to apply all our little scratches here. Uh, I won't show me doing all that. I'll, I'll show a little bit. I've had to do it, but it's, it's quite literally just putting a bit of paint on a brush 
and, uh, and painting it in. I'm sort of treating this wire wool as sandpaper almost, as if you're trying to remove body filler from a, from a piece. There's no real technique to it that I'm using for this. Just trying to get a nice shape to the to the scoring, the weathering, whatever you want to call it. That's pretty much it. Got some uh, little bit of offcuts off the uh, thing, but you can see the nice carbon effect now of the dent we have. I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, do the same process for this, and we can get into uh, applying our topical detail with our brush. Uh, we're going to put the topical paint in now. Um, it's, it's kind of boring to watch, uh, so I'm not going to do much of it. I'm just going to show you uh, what to do on the dent. This is one of the last pieces I have to do. As I've already gone ahead and topically painted the helmet. This is an Empire Strikes Back helmet, so there's not uh, too much damage um, in terms of uh, topical paint then. Um, I've gone ahead and painted in all the extra detail. Uh, on the mandible area. I still need to do the cat scratch. Um, but you can see I've put in some of the extra scratches. Um, got some more on the dent uh, over here as well, um, and in between the kill stripes. Uh, there's nothing on the back. I've gone ahead and painted this. Oh, and this is topically painted. Uh, there's not too much scratches on the back compared to. I have the. This is an Art of Star Wars uh, paint up, which is what you see in the Return of the Jedi Special Edition. Uh, you can see the different on scratches, uh, the extra detail and scratches on here. Um, also goes all the way around. Uh, we've also got to uh, scratch in some details here. I'll show you how to do that. We'll actually do that with a scalpel, so uh, that's kind of nervous to do. But I'll go ahead now and I'll show you how to put in all the. Uh, this lovely detail in the dent. We also still have to miss it. As don't forget, we uh, we masked off the dent before we sprayed it, so we have a very clean dent, the very dirty exterior. Uh, so what we're going to do? So we'll take your paintbrush, nice detailed paintbrush. Uh, take your paint. I already have my paint on this stand that I put it on. Take your reference images. I haven't actually got loaded up. Very silly of me. Bear with me one moment. Okay. Uh, okay. So basically, all we're going to do is we're going to put some paint on the brush, and we're literally just going to paint on uh, the detail. Try and move the camera so it's a little bit easier to see. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to paint on the damage that we couldn't get in with the airbrush. This is essentially all it is. Uh, you want to repeat this process for, for the rest of the helmet, for all the mandible areas, all the silver areas that we've done. It really does change the entire look of the helmet. There are a couple of different colours. Um, on the mandibles, of course, there's the purples, um, the greys, the reds. There's also some white, uh, if you look closely at reference. There's also uh, white on this bit as well, which we also have to go ahead and put in. But as you can see, it's a fairly simple process to do. And uh, that's why I've gone ahead and skipped ahead to show you you know what what the hell it can look like. Just some detail. There we go. But yeah, just repeat this process all over the helmet. Make sure you got the reference images, um, and you get it to look like this. You can see the you can see the white. Oops, hang on a minute. There you go. You can see some of the white it's in this section. It's a little slightly darker, but it's, it really does make the helmet pop. Um, but that process, do the same uh, for all the other pieces. Uh, same for the ears. Ears are done with the same process that we've done. Uh, just all the red is painted in uh, topically. Don't forget to paint the sides as well, very important. And once you put it all together, it really does, you know, give a very nice, complete look to the helmet. So I'll go ahead now, finish up this. I'll show you how to give it another burst with the spray. 
Uh, then we can get into painting the decals on these. And I think finally then we'll weather the rangefinder stalk and we'll put the scratches in. And that's it. We'll have a painted Boba Fett helmet. That is how near we are to the end of this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, kind of a drawn out video, I do apologise. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I'm starting to put some new videos up as well. i got a Commander Cody helmet uh, thing going on the go. And hopefully we shall have some more soon. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.